your views and expertise on the issues of uh, information seeking and information handling, the information behavior mm -hmm. in, a, mm -hmm. in a crisis like the one that we're going through yeah. right now, the, yeah. the COVID-19 that has affected mm -hmm. the whole world and mm -hmm. Zambia, right? Currently, as we speak, I think we mm -hmm. have one person has died out of COVID and there's about 30, 36, I think, people that are confirmed to have the COVID-19. So, um, what are some of the things that we as the Zambians should mm -hmm. do with regards to looking for information mm -hmm. uh, so that we educate ourselves and are aware and are knowledgeable about um, a pandemic like, like this one? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we are in a, a crisis and uh, uh, access to information a credible information mm. is very critical. Mm. We need to be informed as individuals, as families, as communities, and as a society at large. Mm. Uh, we need to be well informed so that we can make uh, rightful decisions. Um, a crisis like this one usually leads to information explosion. Mm. People give all kinds of explanations uh, as to what has, uh, what is happening. Mm. Uh, some of the information could be credible. Some of the information could be uh, myths, is, especially with things to do with the diseases mm. and mm. so on. You can have a lot of myth around. The, uh, and in our societies, we have people are superstitious, mm. and all kinds of explanations will come. Mm and some of the information uh, this the information we get determines uh, how we behave mm. and react mm. to uh, a crisis like this one um it is important to know the source of information we need to be informed on a daily basis so that we see the trends we know how to, what what we are, is required of us but we need to know what are the credible sources of information. Who is producing this information? Are they experts? Mm. Is it uh, official information coming from uh, the experts themselves? Mm. We have experts. Uh, the World Health Organization at global level mm. is, is the, uh, very critical. They produce this information. They have teams of experts. Uh, they provide guidelines. Then the, um, they determine how nations should behave as well, because all governments look towards them. Yeah. And then we have uh, uh, our own government, the, the, the Ministry of Health in this country. Mm. They determine also, they provide information that the experts. And the government provides policy mm. uh, and direction through uh, the Ministry of Health. Then uh, uh, as information is being broadcast, we need to look at uh, uh, the sources who are broadcasting this information. Mm -hmm. We have so many radios, so many TVs, mm -hmm. so many, uh, we have even now, uh, we're in the environment of social media yeah. platforms yeah. Uh, and like so someone on. someone can, can easily create yes, something. Uh, and, send, yeah. and we have family uh, groups, mm -hmm. we have, uh, you know, professional groups, mm -hmm. you, uh, where we work from, there are mm -hmm. groups. Mm -hmm. So all this information is coming. So the question is, uh, if it comes if from the government or from World Health Organization, through what media is it being transmitted to, to us? Uh, mostly it comes uh, through uh, uh, our journalists, mm -hmm. through, for example, ZNBC. Yeah. It's important to, to, to listen to ZNBC. Yeah, and, they, and, and they have they have a website. They have, they have their a, websites. They have a social media page, yeah. so you can go to to uh -huh. Minister of Health yeah. website or the Minister yeah. of Health social media page and, yeah. check, and check what this. updates are coming in. What is the World Health Organization saying? Yeah. If you want to go further, yeah. uh, what are the updates and yeah. so on? Yeah. Uh, channels like uh, CNN, uh, BBC. They give regular they, they, global updates. Yeah, regular almost on an hourly basis. Yeah, yeah. So let's use these channels. Uh, let's be wary of channels that are questionable. Mm. Uh, journalists that are not practicing uh, 
uh, you know, professional journalism. Uh, and also, let's be careful ourselves. Uh, when this information comes through our phones, mm. uh, exactly. Uh, I, I wanted you to get to that. How, check, check. How, how do you behave? How do you behave around uh, uh -huh. the information that you get? Either way, like I think the two two major ways, like info, uh -huh. you you either um, you either choose and decide to go look for information, or information can come to you. It looks you know, for you. <laughs> in a way, you know, it just comes. Yeah. So how how do you behave around? With, with with the information that you either encounter or the information that you seek, how do you behave? Particularly, be careful with the information that is unsolicited. Yeah, that comes through our phones, mm. you know, yeah, on our WhatsApp groups yeah, and many other social media platforms. Mm. Who is who has uh, pushed this information to you? Mm. Where is the source of this information? So you, so you need to know, is this information that has been pushed on to me coming from credible sources like uh, the Minister of Health? Mm. Is it coming from uh, a World Health Organization? Is it coming from, uh, you know, uh, maybe we have employers who, who are also have channels like the University of Zambia? Mm. Because not everyone in the University of Zambia should be sending information to yeah, anyone yeah. Uh, on behalf of the University of yeah, Zambia. Yeah. No, we have a channel. Yeah. yeah. Now, normally this information will reflect who is the author, mm -hmm. when was it released? The date, yeah. The date. Yeah. And the, for, for government information, they have got logos. For yeah. World Health Organization, they have logos that yeah. are uh, clear, you know, we are identifiable. Mm. Uh, and uh, we need to know are these are these the official spokespersons yeah. if it is recorded, yeah. uh, and uh, or, or it's a secular memo. Mm. Uh, are they um, also uh, experts? Mm. If you are listening to them, maybe are they the experts? You know, qualified medical doctors uh, and so on. Uh, so this is very important. I've, I've also I've also I've also noticed that uh, international organizations like IFLA, um, mm. Um, mm -hmm. but also um, local organizations like the, the yeah. LIAS, the you know, they've, they've, they've been promoting um, mm. uh, uh, how one should behave with regards to mm. social media news mm. or social media information. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you, you, you're in a group or you encounter information, don't just forward it, don't just send it no, no, no. to another group. Take time to verify. Mm. Do some of the things Dr. Aka is talking about. Look at uh, who wrote mm. it, when was it written, you know? Mm. Uh, are, are there features that verify that this information mm. is credible? Mm. Then you can send it. So there are certain features that you've got to look out for before you just mm. send information out there. Because if you just send it without um, mm. looking at uh, those critical features you might be sending information that may cause harm uh -huh. you know just briefly talk about how um, information can actually uh, cause problems uh, to, so if, if it's not looked at it's not true and, and, and mm -hmm. the there are certain types of information that could be harmful uh, I was just listening today uh, uh, I was reading through one of uh, social media mm -hmm. Uh, platforms where they're saying somewhere in Eastern Province mm -hmm. people are using kachasu <laughs> as a substitute to uh, to a sanitizer. Oh. Now, uh, and 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 if you pass on that information, uh, because we 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 know that sanitizers have got the alcohol some, content yeah. <laughs> and so, true. but is kachasu really? Uh, uh, there is no. It's not verified that kachasu can be used and safe uh, and be safe to be used mm -hmm. okay and uh, also um, uh, because we have misinformation mm. and and therefore some people deliberately may misinform and send information that can be harmful uh, certainly drugs uh, which are being uh, uh, brought forward that this this drug can cure. can cure, for example, well, like drinking ginger. Yeah. There was a, there's a story that came like gin. Yeah. If you if you drink or eat ginger, yeah, a lot of ginger. Yeah. I, I would rather listen to an expert mm. uh, because ginger may uh, may boost your immunity yeah. and so on, but mm. may not cure you. Yeah, exactly. Does not cure. Yeah. So 
people may relax and start taking ginger, mm -hmm. uh, start prescribing uh, uh, drugs to themselves mm -hmm. before they go to the hospital mm -hmm. to verify and before they, they are given proper treatment. And we know that uh, COVID does not has no cure right, uh, right uh, now. Right now, nothing. Has yeah. Been so people may relax, and there's a result that can cause harm. Yeah, a, a lot of harm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and especially um, we who are in uh, uh, privileged to be in positions of employment at this level, uh, people trust us a lot, have a lot of confidence in us, mm. and if we just release information anyhow, they will take that information to be uh, correct, accurate, mm. and the truth. Yeah. Uh, and then they get misinformed. Yeah. So mm. I think I think the point the point here is um, mind where you get the information mm -hmm. as you are trying to mm -hmm. make yourself aware and knowledgeable mm -hmm. about COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, look to sources that are verified. Uh -huh. You know, I, I strongly recommend you consider the World Health Organization website. I go there myself mm -hmm. a lot to see what's, what's going on. Mm -hmm. Check the Ministry of Health, you yeah. know, because it's a ministry that is dealing with that. Um, and the Ministry of Health has a, has, 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 has a website. You can see what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I follow their Twitter page and I get most of the information there. Mm -hmm. And they have noticed on their Twitter page they share a lot of what the World Health Organization and mm -hmm. other health institutions out there mm -hmm. are doing. Yes. And so you want to look to to, to, to such sources. Yes. You know? And then another thing is before you you put the information that you've received out, mm -hmm. take the time to verify. You know, are you yeah. are you releasing are you are you are you sending the right information to mm -hmm. your to your WhatsApp group, you mm -hmm. know? You know, you want to make sure that you're you're, you're sending information that is right. Mm -hmm. Um so that you don't harm anyone, because if you if you 